Today, I'm gonna to show you how to place art on your walls in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, it's so cool. It's brought to you in a partnership between Flurn and Bay Photo. Now, we're sitting in our brand new Flurn studio, and we have obviously, we're like a Photoshop and photography company, and we didn't have any photos on our walls. So we were like, okay. We got to figure out how to get our photos on the walls here, but we wanted to do it in a very special way. So what we decided to do is take pictures of all of our actual prints. And then today I'm going to show you how to take your prints, like just JPEGs or whatever, and place them on the walls in Photoshop. And then from there, you can make educated decisions on what sizes and what frame sizes you want to order your prints. So that way, when they come in the mail, you'll know exactly what they're going to look like on the wall in the final version. All right, guys, so we're starting off with some empty walls and here's our entrance to our studio. And you can see this is just, it's a completely blank set of walls and this is why we need some prints for the walls. So we called up Bay Photo and asked them about doing this episode and they were like, sure, we'll totally send you some prints and this is what we're gonna be doing with them. So the first thing I wanna do is pull up some JPEGs. Now, in this case, we already went ahead and photographed these, but if you just have some of your own images, let's say you've got a couple headshots, some landscape images that you're proud of, just take a picture of your wall at home and then load those JPEGs into Photoshop. So we'll show you how to do that. So to load some images, we're gonna to go to File, I'm gonna go down here to Scripts, and we're gonna go down to Load Files into Stack. Now, we'll hit Browse for our files, and in this case, I'm just gonna click on our prints, one through 15. So let's hit Open there. It's gonna load them here in a list, and we're gonna hit OK. And all of our prints are gonna load into Photoshop. All right, so what that does is it puts all these images into the same document. So what we've got is you can see print one through 15 here in one document. All right, let's go ahead and hold down shift and click and drag those from one image to another. There we go. And here we can see they're taking over our wall. So we're gonna take all these layers and you can see they're all much too big as of right now. So shift click on all of our layers of our prints and I'm gonna hit command T and we're just going to go ahead and scale this in a little bit smaller. So command T, I'm gonna hold the shift key and we're gonna drag in from the left to the right. Now at this point, it doesn't really matter how large or how small you make these prints because keep in mind, these can be changed at any point in time. If you wanna order an eight by 10 print, you just order an eight by 10 print. If you wanna order a 20 by 30 print, you can do that as well. And if you wanna go ahead and create a frame, you can do that in Photoshop just by creating a rectangular marquee around your image. All right guys, now it's the fun part. We're gonna start arranging these images around our walls. So we're gonna use our move tool here on the top left of our toolbar. Now I wanna make sure that auto select is not turned on. Okay, so if you have that checked, make sure to uncheck that. You also wanna make sure that all of your images here are not in a group because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold the control or command key down and click on each image. Now, holding Control or Command and clicking on an image is going to allow me to select that image. Then I can hold Control or Command on another image and select that one. So instead of going through my layers, I'm able to very quickly and easily just grab my images here and move them around my document. This is gonna make it really easily, easily, <laughs> this is gonna make it very easy for me to actually arrange my images on my background here. So I'm gonna start off with this print. We're gonna hold Command and click on this guy there. Now, if I wanna bring this up and I wanna have that print up there too, if say I'll just hold Command here and I'm gonna hit Command T and make this a little bit smaller. There we go, and we can start aligning those. Now let's say I want a horizontal image. So I'm gonna click on this guy here. There we go, and hit Command T to bring that a little larger. Now that's huge on that wall. So maybe we'll say, you know what? It, it actually, is, I don't want that image to be that big. All right, this image, Light My Fire, is one of my favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and make that one a little bit larger. All right, let's get a nice square image here. We'll do our beginner's guide to levitation photo. There we go. Hit enter and bring that in. And now we can start just arranging these and, and moving them around just like we would do on the wall 
only this case, it's in Photoshop, so it's like a lot easier to do than in real life. All right, and you know what? Like that might not be in the right place, so we can continue to just click and move these around. And as long as nothing is in a group, as long as all of these stay individual, then you don't have to worry, there we go, about moving any selections. All you have to do is command click on any of these layers and turn those into selections. Now, even just throughout this process, I'm seeing like some of these images are totally gonna fit where I place them. And some of these just given the aspect ratio, that's just like not the right place for them. So ordinarily you would have to do this on the wall, but in this case, we're just doing this in Photoshop, which makes it much, much easier. All right, let's bring this in. Cool, and we're getting a nice grid there. And you can get as artistic with this as you'd like. There we go, let's bring that down. All right, very cool. So let's go ahead and work on this wall for a minute. Now these other layers, I'm gonna just hold down the command key and the shift key, which is gonna allow me to select all these other layers at the same time. So holding command and shift, you can see I've selected all those layers at the same time. Okay, now let's go ahead and move those up to the top. I'm gonna to hold the command key and hit the close bracket key, which is gonna move all those to the top. And then I'm gonna hit command G to group them and then just turn that invisible for now. So I've got one wall to focus on right now. Say I like this wall the way it is. Let's show you how to transform this into perspective. All right, so the picture we've taken is not completely straight on. You can see there's some perspective in this image. So we're gonna group all of these images together and then I'm gonna transform them to make them look like they're actually in perspective. So let's go ahead and take all the images that remain. These are the images that remain here. We're gonna hold down shift, click on all those images and hit command G to group those together. Okay, now we can hit control or command T on this entire group. Now let's just zoom in to see what we've got here. So we've got a rectangular bounding box here. Now you can see our vertical lines are pretty much straight on, right? This vertical line here matches up with this vertical line of the wall. So does that one. But our horizontal lines do not match up. You can see this horizontal line is perfectly horizontal, but the actual image here kind of slopes down a little bit and it slopes up at the top. So what we're gonna do is hold the control or the command key and change our perspective. So control or command, I'm gonna click on this right here and I'm gonna hold the shift key. And this way it's gonna allow me to change the perspective of that entire group. So what we're gonna do is drag this down. There we go. Right to where we see it starts to line up with what's going on on our actual wall. Now with the top, we're gonna do the same. You can see how the line of the top of the wall kind of goes up a little bit. So we're gonna hold control or command and I'm gonna pull this line up until it matches what's going on in the top of the wall. There we go. And when we're good to go, we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And there we have our images. Let's just see the before and the after. That's really cool. So there we have our images in perspective on the wall. All right guys, so we've got another example for you here. I went ahead and placed a lot more photos in here so we can see what they all look like transformed into perspective. All right, so here are the photos that we're gonna be working with here. I'm just gonna, again, use my move tool. We're gonna hold control or command and click on each of these images. So click on this one, then let's hold the shift key and click on all four or five or six of these images. There we go. So those are all together. Let's go ahead and hold command, close bracket, and that's gonna push them all together here. And we're gonna hit command G to group them. So that's all one group. All right, now the next one, we're gonna hold down control or command and click shift and click on all four of those. There we go, that's five, I can't count. Command G to group those together, let's make that invisible. And here are the remaining command G to group those together. All right, so now we can transform all of these in place. So let's just zoom in here. Again, we'll hold the control or command key and grab each of these corners and pull them down into perspective. There we go. That one looks perfect. Let's do our next. Control or command. Let's bring this a little bit smaller. There we go. And hold down command and pull that up into perspective. Same with this one. Just hold command and pull that down into perspective. All right. And we'll do the same thing with our last group, which actually requires a ton of transformation. So command T. 
We're gonna bring this down way down there because we have a crazy amount of perspective, right? This is a wall that we're like, we're looking straight into. There we go. And we're gonna pull this one up to match as well. All right, there we go. And let's hit enter. So cool guys. And here we have our entryway perfectly designed out with prints and we did this all in Photoshop, which means I know what it looks like on the walls. I don't have to think twice about it. I don't have to stress when I'm ordering sizes. Everything is totally done for me in Photoshop and now I'm perfect, ready to go when it's time to order my prints. Guys, and we wanna give a special thank you to Bay Photo for donating all of these prints for the Flern Studio. We went to their website, downloaded the Rose software, it was super easy to click. Order, when you click on what frame you want, it automatically updates and displays everything and they came like perfectly matted and printed and framed here like to our door and they look gorgeous. So we totally recommend Bay Photo. It couldn't have been any easier and the prints look great. Let's take a look at the before and after. So here we have our complete blank walls in our studio and now we have our final prints on the wall looking gorgeous. Again, all this is done in Photoshop which makes ordering super simple and pain free. So the next time you wanna order some prints for your walls, I recommend taking a picture of your wall first. Go ahead and load that into Photoshop. Then bring in some JPEGs of your work. Go ahead and size and scale them how you want. When you've got a group of photos, Go ahead and group them, hit Command T and hold that control key down and that's gonna allow you to move these in perspective. Once that's done, you'll have a great idea of how large you actually want to order your prints and exactly where you want to place them. Guys, thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you like what we're doing here on Flurn and you wanna learn more Photoshop and photography, just hit that subscribe button on your screen right now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. Thanks so much guys, I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. All right, to move these around our background. Okay, so now those, cool. All right guys, so now here's the fun part. We're gonna show you some quick ways. So now here's the fun part, make sense? All right, cool. We've got our images here. You wanna make sure those are not in a group. The reason is we're gonna use a quick, oh my God. We did it.